NBA free agency starts tonight, four and a half hours yet before the Mavericks start being told by star players, I'm not interested. Their track record speaks for itself, so they better be careful how they approach DeAndre Jordan. Sports with Chase Shannon. I'm not Chase Shannon. Tony Romo, not one of the top 11 quarterbacks in the NFL. That absurdity spewed from John Clayton's latest mailbag on ESPN.com. Over in Oklahoma City, the Thunder, believe it or not, are also trying to upgrade their team. Today, first-year head coach Billy Donovan solidified his coaching staff by bringing back Maurice Cheeks, who spent 2009 to 2013 in OKC as an assistant. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of championships. America, that's what it was all about for the U.S. Women's National Soccer Team today. The moral of the story is don't pitch to Mitch. That's it for sports. We'll be right back. Success in numbers, the strategy set forth by myself when it comes to dating and the Dallas Mavericks. Put yourself out there as much as possible, and sooner or later, you'll get a date. While that hasn't worked for me yet, it has worked for Mark Cuban. Finally, the Mavs reeled in that big fish you can take home to mom and be proud of. We all know he's the best at closing deals in NFL free agency, but how about the NBA? Yeah, Jerry is reportedly helping the Mavericks lure the big fish of LaMarcus Aldridge and DeAndre Jordan. Whatever it takes, I guess. Des Bryant continues to be front and center even when he's not front and center. The Cowboys wide receiver says he'll sit out the season opener against the Giants if he doesn't get a long-term deal. But Des's words and actions don't always match up. Like the Rangers hit four long balls in Monday night's win over the Orioles. Mitch Moreland had two, so how many would they launch Last night, a hint to Baltimore pitching staff, uh, don't pitch to Mitch. We'll pick it up in the eighth. Mitch with one dinger already, and just like I said, don't pitch to Mitch. His second of the evening, and he becomes the eighth in Rangers history with back-to-back multi-homer games. Rangers win 8-6 over the O's, and again, don't pitch to Mitch. Meanwhile, the only thing more American than the U.S. women's national team right now is free agency, and it started last night. For the NBA, we Americans are downright filthy sometimes, maybe the worst on our nation's Independence Day. It's the annual Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Competition on Coney Island and defending champ Joey Chestnut going for his ninth straight title. His fellow starving competitor is Matt Stoney. He finished in second place last year, out for all the buns today, and in 10 minutes, Stoney on the right scarfed down 62 dogs, beating Chestnut by two. That's it for sports. We'll be right back. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of championships, America. That's what it was all about for the U.S. Women's National Soccer Team yesterday. They waited four long years to get another shot at Japan in the World Cup Final, and it came with a flurry of goals, something we've never seen. Meanwhile, the Rangers had given up 21 runs in the first two games of their series with the Angels, so why not give up a few more in Game 3? Colby Lewis was dreadful yesterday. He was tagged for 10 runs in four innings. The Rangers gave up 12 total in the game for a 12-6 loss. Add them all up for the series, and it's a whopping 33 runs allowed. Final round of the Greenbrier Classic, and it was a good one for Mr. Tiger Woods. He misses this birdie putt at the 18th, but he taps in for par. He would finish his first bogey-free round in his last 56 competitive rounds. Drama, though, on the 18th, Robert Streb would knock down the birdie with a wedge, not a putter. He broke it earlier in his round to move to 13 under and into a tie for the lead. But it was Danny Lee taking care of business on the second playoff hole, a little tapper for par, earning his first ever PGA Tour win. That's it for sports.